Hi there and welcome back to the Dark Queen of Kryn. I'm Baron and we have just freed uh, the eggs of the sea dragons. They should be peaceful now because we gave them the eggs again. But apparently we're still ambushed by snakes and the legs. Oh, from the south. Manual. Yeah, there are a few snakes to the south. And a few snakes to the north. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, man. This sucks big time. Uh, what do we do? Um, hmm. Who calls the lightning bolt? It's always fun. You know, first of all, you need to take out those. There is a fucking squid behind too. That's annoying. Um, a giant squid and an eye of the deep. Some snakes here. And two snakes and a squid. Could have hit you too, but I was too stupid. I was not aware that you were here too. Let's just check whether there's anybody else. No. Okay. Duh. That was relatively stupid. I can't be helped. There's not much you can do. With your little moves. Oh, it's still enough. You are awesome. You also... No. Undone. You cast... A lightning bolt. And you put it in here. Squid could have been dead by now, but I was too stupid. Um, okay. Can you cast? Yes. Then I cast a magic missile, and magic missile you to death. Good riddance. You're almost dead. You're not so much. How about we give you a magic missile then? Or rather you? Yeah, rather you. Eighteen, sixteen, six. I don't think you need to do anything. Uh. Victory. Four thousand eight hundred thirty three experience points and Sylvia Saint can level two. That's nice. So we fix and save and move on. Yeah, wrong button. And we are back in the city of Nolidus. So we need to return to the prince, I think. Um, what's his face? Luzan and his court meets you. Greetings, hard-working guests. We have heard what happened. The dragons have agreed to ally against the Sehuagin. We owe you our lives and our city, and even more. We captured the Sehuagin who told us chilling things. Talhuk was gathering a foul conspiracy and planned next to march on Dargonost, our capital city. 
But now the dragons and the elves are hunting him everywhere. Our city is in shambles, but it is open to you. Eat, drink, be healed and rest in my chamber. After what, there will be a ceremony. Our king himself sends a gift to you. Our eternal thanks and welcome to Null Leaders. And it still doesn't work. For crying out loud. Okay, so I think what we want to do is probably go and level up our characters and then visit the princess chambers. So we move up here. What was that again? An undersea garden. Oh great. this the way? No, this is the way. A delegation of elves waits here. Outlanders, are you ready to rest? We have ordered orders to escort you to the prince's own chamber. Go with them? Not yet. As you wish. Yeah, first of all we will level up and then we will rest. So hold on for a second. My little elven friends. Uh, the safe hall is now almost empty, but a few worries are sparring here. One asks, would you like to train with us? Yes, that's what we came here for. So we save. And Randy Spears actually trains. Level 21 fighter. Sylvia Saint trains. Uh, level 21 cleric. And Kobe Tai trains. Level 19 thief. Very nice. We begin adventuring again. And we end camp. Can you get new spells? Oh yes, a uh, 4th, 5th and 6th level spell. Another one of those. Um, another one of those. And another heal. Keep. And that's pretty much it, so we rest. A few elves come near. One is a palace guard. He stops and salutes you. You suck. Uh, some elves come near. <laughs> you recognize some people you helped uh, to safety. They offer you food and drink. Except, yes. It's quite refreshing. They bow deeply to you and go their way. You tell me I can't rest here because I help too many people? Yeah, that's it. Awesome. Some elves come near. A woman steps forward and presents you with a souvenir. It is a broken, the broken hinge from the safe hall door. She laughs and clasps your hands in a farewell. Fine, we don't rest. <laughs> Maybe we can rest in here. It's a sleeping nest after all. No, forget it. They bring presents. Oh, we get treasure. What do we get? Money. Oh, one jewelry and three gems. And items? Elven chain mail. Ooh, I like that a lot. Detect. Oh, let's take a look. It's not a magical elven chain, though. So, hmm. Well, the good thing about the elven chain is that Kobe tied. No, I don't want it. This is in return for the arms you brought them. Okay. Um, what I wanted to say is the elven chain mail allows a mage fighter or a thief fighter character to keep their special abilities. So you can wear that chain as a, th a thief and still backstab. Or you can wear that chain as a, ma a fighter, mage and still cast your spells. No, wait. In in the first edition rules you can even cast your spells when you wear full plate as a fighter thief. But Kobita loses her thief abilities. She can't backstab when she has heavy armor. She could backstab if she would wear that elven chain. 
so let's try that what do we have minus seven Oh, fuck. Hmm. That's not so good, actually. I mean, okay, she could now backstab, but she loses a lot of AC. And camp? Rest? I tried one last time. No, forget it. Oh, how cute. Some elves come near. One small elf swims forward and kisses Kobitai, then darts away. Oh, is, aren't they cute? Okay, let's not rest then. I get the message. Thank you. So we came. Where did we come from? Uh, north. Okay, so we go down here and then in here. Outlanders, are you ready to rest? We have orders to escort you to the prince's own chamber. Go with them? Yes. As you wish. Maybe we can rest there. Where are we going now? The elves show you the opposite chamber and leave you in peace. We encamp and rest. No. The prince's chambers seem comfortable enough. Then the armorers spring open. Prince Todd accepts out. Now, Lucian, he begins, but chokes when he sees you. The cursed landlubbers! Will I never be free of your meddling? Um, I guess you will be free in a minute. Sort of. Let's see, where is he? Uh-huh. Well, that's just regular situations. Where's the big guy? Where's the prince? Oh! Oh, for fuck's sake. Sneaking up on us from behind? Hmm, okay. I see a lightning bolt in your immediate future. What says thou? I don't think... Yeah, you do. You stay here. And cast... A lightning bolt. Manual. And you put it in here. Let's see. He is down to 46 hit points. You cast a lightning bolt of your own. Ooh, yes, three attacks. You yell. Let's target you. Well, boom. Good riddance.
Why do you only attack once? Fine. Why did you only attack once? I don't really understand that. Good riddance. Hmm. You got. Good night. No, we will not continue the battle. That was relatively easy. Um, what do we get? Money wise. 32 gems. And items? Mm, is there anything magical? Detect. Yeah, there's something magical. Uh, you take it. Exit. Do we want to go back and grab it? No, thank you. Altered by no, aler alerted by the commotion, palace guards rush in and overwhelm the skulking Sahuajin. When the palace was vacated, they must have opened the secret entrance. A captain explain exclaims, "It will be found and sealed." You have followed the deadly assassination blood. Elves calm the entire area. We seem to have them all. It should be safe to rest. When you are ready, meet Prince Prince Lucian in the palace hall. Can we rest? Yeah, we can. So where's the hall again? I wish area view would work. So we're in a small room here. I guess this is where we found uh, Captain Denor. Yeah, I know where we are, okay. What was that? A royal bedroom. Oh, let's search. Nothing here. Ah, Lucian's Great Hall. Lucian meets you as elves throng around. Outlanders, I bring you a message from the king in Dargonost. He has heard of your actions on our behalf and extends you the, the gratitude of our people. <coughs> he presents you this. 333 experience points and treasure. What do we get? Ooh, a dragon lance. That's something for Randy Spears to take. Now we have two dragon lances. Ah, <laughs> dragons! Be afraid. Be very afraid. Exit. Wielded in good health. Congratulations. Oh, we can level again. Captain Deno has told me of your experience with the dragon draconians. Even here, we have heard of those evil beings. He believes it important to pursue them at once lest the trail to them and his sister Crisia grow cold. So now is the time for us to bring you to the land of Teladas and return you to your element. Dana will join you when he can. Let me give you something of my own. He displays another Krylocon, the echoing seashell and speaks into it. Present this to the man Ezra on Teladas. It will prove you are friends and he may be able to help you. For the journey, a traveling spell is needed. Do not be alarmed. He speaks several words and you all begin to drowse. The world grows dark. In the moments before sleep, you think you see many of the elves change into dolphins. 
everything goes black. You dream of seascapes sliding by and the gentle rhythms of swimming. Dark shapes haunt your dreams. And we're out. Where are we now? Um, hello, I'm happy to see that you're awake. You're in the hamlet of Hisden. A fisherman found you on the beach. He brought you here on his wagon and probably stole all, all our money. What do you do? We ask about Ezra. Ezra? Well, there's an Ezra that owns the bait shop. Could he be who you want? Um, ask about children of the sea. What? Don't you know nothing? Wait, don't know nothing about no children of the sea? You can leave my inn now. Oh, why is that? Of course, we can rest, but if you ask about the uh, children of the sea, then she kicks you out. Leave the inn. Area? Okay, where are we now? Hamlet of Hisden. Um, there seems to be a store and a training hall and all manner of nice things. That's very convenient. Let's go to the training hall first. It should be this one. Militia training hall. You are welcome to train. You train? Level 21 magic user? Very well. Yeah, why not? Take the feeble mind. And um, Genevieve Jolie will be a level 24 red mage. That's nice. What else do we have? Um, let's go in here. Quite empty building. It was abandoned after a small fire some time ago and never repaired. We can probably rest here. Um, do you get new spells? Yes, of course. A level 8 and a bonus spell. The bonus spell is as always the late blast fireball and... Um, I don't know. Let's take a mind blank. And what would you get? Level 1 and a level 4 spell. This calls for a magic missile and for... Um, another ice storm. Oh yeah, and since... Ah, forget it. Exit, exit. Uh, since we're out of the water, we can get rid of our lightning bolts now. in favor of a few fireballs. So, magic missile, firewall, 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 um, ice storm, or maybe a bestow curse, just for the heck of it. And that's it. We will rest for 12 hours, holy shit. Okay, so we leave. Let's take a look at the area. Hmm. Let's go in town guards. Are you suspiciously? Why? A priest approaches you. Welcome, strangers. Would you care to give a donation to the church of Miss Laksa? Do you give him a coin? Sure. Who will give? Uh, Rackle. 
The priest takes a coin from Rackle, Darian. Yeah. Welcome. Temple of Miss Luxa. Ah. We just gave one of your guys money. Uh, we don't need to heal or repair anything. Oh, wait. What's that? Militia store. What can we sell you fine people? I don't know. Let's take a look. Um. <laughs> Nothing really. But we could identify a few items if it's all the same for you. A shield plus three. A flail plus four and a ring of okay. That should go to Kobe Tai. And that should go to Sylvia Saint. And you have the dragon lance and the mace and shield. Okay, that's good. What do you have? Necklace of missiles. Stuff of striking. That's not too shabby. That goes to you. And yeah, well, yeah, I don't think we need a two handed sword anymore. Since you have a dragon lance now. Good riddance. Uh, what? You have too much money. Drop like. 1000 now 336 Oh I really hate it that it didn't uh, update it. Um, so you take 1000. And you still have a movement rate of 12. That's good. What do you have? Mm, okay, so uh, Mace plus 4 gives you a tackle of 0 and 1d6 plus 16. It's the same actually. Okay, it doesn't make a difference whether you use a mace or a flail. And that's the only thing you need to. No, there's a wand. What does that do? Wand of polarization. How much money do you have? A lot. Well, you could, of course, use the stuff. Well, 1d6 plus 3 and attack of 9. one d 6 plus 4 and attack of 8. So the stuff of striking is better. So you sell those. Hmm. You know all those necklaces of missiles and eyes of charming, nobody really needs them. Sell them. Okay. And you drop. Well, 
976. Exit, exit. Now you have a movement rate of 9. How come? You trade that to Genevieve Jolie. What is so heavy? It can't be the steel. Maybe it is. Okay, it was the steel. Um, if you take 100. Okay. I don't want nobody to be without any money. You also drop 500. Better. Okay, what do we have here? Dagger plus two, a ring, protection plus two, a shield plus two, trident plus two, and a shield plus three. So we don't really need you anymore. We can take you instead, or just uh, use the hoop pack. So the point is nobody actually needs the ring of protection plus two, but I can give it to um, um, Captain What's His Face once he returns. And Trident plus two. What am I supposed to do with a Trident plus two? Sell it. Okay. You also drop some steel. That's cool, I think. You could probably take some more money. Yep. Yeah, wait a second. Um, okay, you're good. You're well equipped. And what do you have? You're also well equipped. And have no. Do you have needless junk? Yes, you do. Just drop it. You didn't have any of those, did you? Probably not. Drop it. Not even using all those bonds. Hmm. Okay, so that's pretty much it. We have our stuff equipped and identified. We still have a little space in the inventory. And yeah, we lose 16,000 steel. 
You don't have anything magical, sadly. We could buy a few bolts. Nah, we don't really need them. I mean, this Captain What's His Face used bolts. But don't, we don't really need them. What else do we have? Um, well, we could move up here. What's in here? You intrude upon a human family. The father confronts you. What is the meaning of this? Get out! What do you do? We leave. Rather than fight you, leave. Why should I fight him? He lives here. <coughs> bait shop of Hisden. The bait shop smells strongly of fish. Hooks and nets line the walls. <coughs> Gotta drink something. You don't look like fishermen. Who sent you? Lucian. What? I can no I cannot believe you. Do you give him to Krulokon? Yes, we do. <coughs> Ezra's eyes open wide as he gently takes the shell from you. He holds the Krulokon to his ear and smiles sadly. It has been too long since I have heard my father's voice. As the shell crumbles to dust, Ezra continues. We children of the sea are a solitary lot. I am ill-informed in the ways of the world, but I can give you some advice. This is recorded as Journal Entry 37. <coughs> um, advice. Travel north, my friends, and soon you will come upon an ancient lighthouse. For eons, the light has guided sailors through the dangerous shoals of the tide run. Legend has it that the tower is deserted, except for whatever magic keeps it glowing. But I know that there is a keeper and his wisdom is profound. Seek his aid and you will be richly rewarded. But be warned, strangers are not welcome in the ancient tower and reaching its pinnacles may prove a dangerous task. And that's actually also a journal entry that I over somehow missed in the Draconian's caverns, that's journal entry 39. Senzilan's final words because we would have been able to come across a dying friend of Captain What's His Face, uh, Denor, Captain Denor. Uh, somehow I didn't get that, uh, that encounter, or maybe I didn't, you know, hit that spot, didn't walk across that field of the map. Choking back tears, Denor cradles his the old man's head. Senzilan, my old friend, it's all right now, it's almost over. Soon you'll be back at the town. Denor, it gives me great pleasure to see your face again. But it's too late for me. I only have a few minutes left. Otif and I try to escape. I think we met the... We found the corpse of that Otif guy. And I tried to escape, but we became lost in the labyrinth. I pray that he has made it to freedom. Denor, have you found Chrysia? The captain bows his head in grief. Yes, we have found her. She is with them. Sensilan clutches his hand. Denor, Chrysia is caught in a powerful charm spell. She will flee from you and fight on the side of evil. The old man begins to cough violently. He wipes the blood from his lips and continues. When you find her, you must break the spell or she will be lost forever. The old man begins to cough again and then he is still. His head slumps against Denor's chest. The captain begins to sob quietly. Yeah, that's how Captain Denor actually knew after he returned to his ship that um, his sister was under the effect of a charm spell. It was quite a WTF moment for me because I didn't get that encounter. Good luck, champions. May your quest be fruitful. But beware, you are a stranger to the ways of Teladas. All may not be what it seems. As you leave, Ezra stares solemnly across the sea. And we gain experience and record Dorian can train. Holy hell. Um, we shall do that then. Fish market of Histon. Gun fishing. <laughs> okay. Yep. You will, of course, train Rekaldorian. She's level 14 knight. Congratulations. Congratulations. And I think we could... The calm is broken by a piercing scream of horror. Dragons are raiding the town! Flee for your lives! Townsfolk are being attacked. Do you go to the aid? Yes, of course. Ah, we have found the landworms that have ruined our plan. We will avenge our lost comrades. What? That's a sea dragon. They should be peaceful now. 
Oh no, it's a Sehu agent. Okay, let's see. Dragons attack. Empty dragons. Well, you know what happens now, right? You yell. This is going to be a long video here. Oh well. There's a priestess too. Um, you delay. So you have a dragon lance. Boom. Boom. You also happen to have a dragon lance. <laughs> Well, where are the dragons? Well, there's only one dragon left. Hey, they begin casting. I don't like that. We prevent that from happening by casting a delayed blast fireball. Oh manual of course and you put it in maybe here yeah okay Oh, you missed. Actually, you could get your um, sword and shield back. Because there are no more dragons around. Stunned. That's what Olin's uh, quarter stuff does. Good riddance. Done. And. Eight thousand two hundred and ninety-five. What do we get? Money. Twenty-seven gems. I don't need to steal. Thank you. Items. Anything magical here? I don't want it. So, well, I wanted to go in here. So we encamp. Can you actually get new spells now that you have an exit? Oh, yes. A detect magic. Another detect magic and a cure light wounds. And a um, snake charm. She gets a lots of lots of spells. I, what does she have? Cool at wounds. This is cold. A person. This is fire. Silence. Prayer. Cure serious. Dispel evil. Okay. Yeah, Dispel Magic might come in handy. And a level 6 spell. Well, how about a heal? Okay. So, that worked nicely. We shall call it the video here and continue in the next one. So thank you very much for watching and see you soon.